Boy, I tell you, for the money, man, I'm teaching you a lot of stuff, I hope you know. <laughs> I don't know where else you're going to get this on YouTube. You might find it somewhere. See on the top, it looks like I might have to raise that up just a hair. Down at the bottom, up at the top. Bottom, top. Shimmy it. You see why we had to clean off all of the caulking around there? There, look at that. That almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Class is now open. Okay, before I screw it in, I just want to show you a few things. The last thing you want to do is install this level. If you, and flat. If you do that, you could have some of your water building up in the bottom of your insert and dripping back on the inside. You don't want to do that. So, so see, you don't want to make it straight. You want the top closer than the bottom. You always want the bottom more. And what I like to do is I also like to get this, this shipping screw in there. So I don't want to push it in too far. Some people push this almost flush. About cracks me up because it's hard to put the trim on. And I, I keep it out, I like to get that set screw in. So usually I'll have an inch and five eighths at the bottom, and I'll have about an inch and an eighth up at the top. That gives the, that gives the bottom, you see it's got a half inch uh, tilting down. So when any water gets in this bottom tray of the insert, it goes out the back and it goes down into the condensate and drain and outside, okay? So that's how I want it. And so my next step is, I've got to line this up. I want inch and five eighths, inch and an eighth, inch and an eighth over here, inch and five eighths down at the bottom over here. And that's where I'm going to set it. So I may have to kind of look at this and, and check it a little bit, see what I have to do. And um, that's my next step. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully I don't get in your way. When I do this, I've got my, my drill here. I'm going to use my same screws that I took out because they're still in really good condition. And my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do some checking. I'm going to go an inch and five eighths at the bottom on both sides. And that's about right. And then I'm going to hold this up. That's an inch and an eighth. And this side is about an inch. So I know this has to be kind of pulled out and if I want to hold it sometimes I can take a putty knife up there tilt it and put that in and hold it or a screwdriver or something like that okay so I'm looking at it and it looks like the opening is going to be fine okay so now I'm going to do this for real and look at your tape make sure you're reading your tape right sometimes it's easy uh, to, to look at it backwards, you know, I got an inch and five eighths right there, and I got this on low. I'm going to put the first screw in. And I'm going to look at this and see how that's going. And I've got an inch and an eighth right there, and it's kind of moving on me a little bit. So I can take my putty knife. I'm going to take my putty knife. I'm just going to kind of hold it out a little bit and check that. I'm right there at an inch, inch and an eighth. But before I do that, I like to do the bottom ones first. Okay? So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to measure an inch and five eighths here right there and I'm going to screw that one in. Sometimes you have to use your left hand. I'm going to make it just snug for right now in case I have to do any adjustments, okay? I can pull that out and I'm going to first check these, okay? I've got an inch and an eighth, that's good there. 
and I've got an inch and an eighth. That's wow. That's really good. Because see, sometimes if, if the opening is tweaked, and this side's an inch, and this is an inch and an eighth, I'll pull this one out to an inch and a quarter so I can have this one at an inch and an eighth so I can screw that in. Then I can kind of whack on that. And if I can't get it all the way, then I can take my, my scratch all and take it like that and bend this sideways a little bit. And uh, then I take my screw and put it in at an angle. So my last one, if it's an inch and a quarter, I can go that way until this sucks in to an inch and an eighth. And it works out really good. I used to, I used to try to bang this and take my hammer, take my hammer and set it there and kind of hit on it or reach the back and try to push on it or have somebody pull it on the other side. Nothing doing anymore. I get one and stick one wherever the other one goes, okay? In this case, it's, it's right on. Inch and an eighth. You see this angle here? Inch and a half at the bottom, inch and an eighth at the top. You can do it however you want. This is how I do mine. And it almost seems like I'm putting it in the very same screws as the last, as the last piece. And I got, a, I got a magnetic tip on here, so, so when I put the screw on there, it holds. That kind of helps me. And I'm going to check this here. Hold that up there, and I'm right there at an inch and an eighth. If anything, i got to kind of hang on to it just a little bit. So I'm going to, and now I'm going to use my left hand again. Okay. Now, remember, I've got that, that top screw to deal with, too. Before I do that, I've got an important step right now to do. Do you know what it is? If you don't, stick around. Here's, here's the next thing I want to do. Before I, before I attach that, I mean, I could, I could really attach that if I wanted to, but if your opening is kind of off a little bit, I want to square this up because I want the trim to fit nicely. I don't want it, the trip, trim to be cattywampus or this thing is off at an angle or something. So you know how to square it up? You just take your tape measure and you go in for end on one area and then you go the in for end on the other side. Okay. Now, when I'm looking at that, it's not square. I've got 27 and 7 eighths that way and I've got 27 and a half, almost 5 eighths. So I'm off kilter, aren't I? Which means this top would have to go that way or the bottom would have to go that way. And I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm tight to this opening, okay? If this opening had some slop, I could loosen up a screw here, tighten this one down, and then that would, that would make this kind of go like that and then it would be more square, okay? There's really not much I can do because I'm tight here, I'm tight there, tight here, tight here. I can't do anything. So I'm off square a little bit. The trim will still fit, I know, but you know, the, the mounting screws on the back side of the trim, I may have to tweak a little bit and I'm and now I'm aware of that. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta put this screw up. See this this tilts up, so if I get it up too high, I just don't want a bow in here, do I? But the first thing I gotta do, I put the screw in all the way so it dimples into here even if it's too far. Okay, now I back it back out. Okay, now before I, I do anything, I get over here and I look at this and I, and I look and see if the top is bowed or if it's down too low and I look at it and I only want this screw to go up until that looks straight. And in fact, it looks straight right there. So I'm gonna hold that and just make it so it's, it looks like it's flush. And see, it's still slightly loose, but when I put the caulking on there, when the caulking dries, it's, it's gonna tighten up. The last thing you want is this to be bowed way up or down because then your trim's not gonna fit on it properly. The trim has to fit on this and it's a straight line, okay? So that's where that goes, right there. 